Hello and a warm welcome back to the TNC podcast. It's been a while, Chris Reeve. Yeah, it has. Do you know why? Cheers. Why? Because you've been blooming swanning off to Dubai, for God's sake. Well, part timer. We've got subscribers to satisfy. Well, you've I, let them down. I, I feel as if you've kept the ship sailing adequately. You've <laughs> sailed the seven seas. What was what was my quote to you? Oh, um, it was very good. What was it? I don't I don't hold the fort. I build the battlement. <laughs> Amazing. There you go. They should, you know they have the inspirational oh, quotes on. Um, don't hold the fort, build the battlement. What battlements have you built? Um, well, you, you know, just cracked on, really. Yeah. You know? I, I think the TNC subscribers have been content with the last two weeks. You know I what was nice? I, I felt like a viewer while I was away. And then I watched what, the Oppo previews. So were you I getting as angry? Press reveal. Were you getting as angry and as annoyed as, as the people? I disliked every video <laughs> and sent abuse. Do you know what? That always makes me laugh, that. There's always... There's always six dislikes on every yeah. single YouTube. And I think to myself, you've been doing this for a good seven years now. Like, what, what do I you admire gain from it. that? It's actually dedication, I like it. it. Yeah, Turn it's up, yeah. do your bit, yeah. and go. Yeah. Speaking of which, um, well, actually, no, not speaking of which, welcome aboard. Yeah. And um, if you are going to be watching this in full, I'm really interested on this podcast, Jack, as soon as we're back face to face to learn where people are watching this. Oh, so take a screen grab, wherever mm. you are, or a picture, even better, if you're watching yeah. on your TV in, I don't know, New York, Michigan, Australia, wherever you are in the world. I want to know where the, definitely not Hemsby. I want to know where the TNC fans are watching mm. the content. I really do. Good. So please do that and give it a like if you're going to enjoy the show. Um, before we get into proceedings, I must apologise for sounding like sort of Joe Pasquale, who's spoke <laughs> 20 mile per gold a day. Uh, not COVID, is it? Not COVID. I think it's, um, I think it's actually withdrawals from winning matches I forgot what it felt like to lose a football game I, do you know what it's because you've been just swanning as I say you've been swanning about in Dubai so I don't, don't feel sorry for you no at all. no no. you shouldn't do um, what but was I'm it sure 10 this... rounds of golf in 10 days 10, 10 in 10 um, <laughs> felt good my, my hips are loose as ever uh, from the Mm. For the golf swing, uh, so yeah, feeling feeling rather good. Uh, and as always, Chris. Yes. Christmas is approaching. Yes. Beer is required. Yes. Only the best beer, and this is quite literally the best ale in the world. Yeah. Uh, voted for by um, Beer Shrewdies. Twenty percent off uh, in the description. We've both gone for an encore tonight, haven't we? Yeah, I think it's because we want more. Oh, I like that from mm. you. I, li I like that for me. Sorry, I love that for me. I don't know why I gave you a, a like there. I missed two games of football you did. while I was away. I yes. missed um, Wolverhampton Wanderers yes. and Newcastle United. Two draws, mm. a nil-nil, a 1-1. One -one. Mm. I watched them with yeah. the Dubai Canaries. Yeah. Big up, incredible bunch of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Top lads. Lots of people from different walks of life. Yeah, Very brilliant. much enjoyed that. Class. Um, Wolves yeah. should have won. Yeah. Newcastle really should have won. And then, the weird thing with the Newcastle yeah. one, should have won it, then I was pleased with the point. Strange game is football. Yeah, and, and it, uh, well, to go to the Newcastle game straight away, that's where I'm at, and that's where I was actually immediately after the full-time whistle at Newcastle. Pleased? I was actually, no, 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 I wasn't pleased. I was, I was thankful for a point. Right. Because when you go a goal down, regardless of whether they have 10 men or not, I was a bit like, oof, this is not going to look good. If we can't get something from a game was it a penalty? 10 men. I don't know, Chris. Oh, mate, it's, look, I don't the day, know. The rules are the rules. The rules are the rules. I, I feel desperately sorry for Billy G because he's building confidence. I mean, he's jumped. It's a very natural position for his hands to be in, but unfortunately that is the but rule. But surely if they had a penalty, we should have had a penalty. What I'm more, pookie headed and What I'm, not, what I'm more like, ah, about is that Timmy Krull got the oh. blooming hand to it. Yeah. And because it was, and this isn't Tim Krull, you know, being being dodgy at all. It was just so wet that it just kind of spun off his glove. So we're saying oh. if, if it hadn't have rained in Newcastle that evening, <laughs> we, would we would have got win. Won. <laughs> no, the story in Balamori, Jack, is, and there'll be people saying this right now, listening and watching to this wherever they are in the world. We, we have just become Missing Sitters FC. Interesting. We really have. But that's good. To a point. What? Because we weren't even competitive before. Mate, it's... It, 
At least we're creating you, something. You've got. Are you, hang on. Who are you, and what have you done with Jack? <laughs> I've come back an optimistic man. Yeah, I was going to say. Look against Wolves. It's another shudder. They were there for the taking. We batted we were them. The better they were team. sixth at the time. Correct. We were mm. the better team. And it does give me confidence, mm. by the way, that we can take points off almost anyone outside that top six. Genuinely. One of the best nil-nils I've seen. <sighs> yeah. But should have been again. Okay. And it's another shudder into the shudder bucket. That, that bucket's so, full, by the way. Uh, it's full to the brim, the shudder bucket for this season. Newcastle. Could oh, have. mate. The chances we had. Did we, though? Oh, mate. Lee's Malou at the end. Oh, good. That was a good save, to be fair. Oh, mate. He's got. Like, that I, was a every, good save. Chris. Everyone. I know. I know. But I'm not here to compliment the opposition. Well, it sounds like you're criticising our own. I love. <laughs> I love PLM. Everyone knows that. I tipped into me, again, by the way, the curse of my Still player time. Of the season prediction. Still time. Um, he, he's, he's got to give it or put it in the back of the net, Jack. There's no excuse. I think you're being harsh there. No, I'm not. I'm not. And he'll know that Have as well. Have roles reversed, by the way? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, You've maybe. become a, a weathered, <sighs> cynical man. <laughs> yeah, do you know why? Why? Because you didn't need to watch the shower of, <laughs> of shite against Spurs. I watched it. Oh, did you? Yeah. I oh, good. It. I'm pleased. Oh, good. And don't worry. We'll get to that chat in a minute and, we'll, and I'll get back to my... Okay, right. Here's what's happened, Jack. Dino's come in. Yeah. And in my opinion... What he has done structurally, if that's a word, yeah. and tactically, in terms of his formations, almost his lineups, <laughs> not quite in agreement now, but that's in in in, in hindsight. Um, and I like what he's done defensively with the boys. Yeah, I think we're more compact. There's one million percent, and I know we can't put a stat on this, but you can feel that there's belief. Right. You can feel now. The belief ometer. If we go, if we go a goal down, I'm now confident that we're going to get a goal back. Mm. Which, by the way, do you see my t- <laughs> on that note? Do you see my tweet for the Spurs game when uh, we no, when we were one nil, when we were one nil down? I tweeted because you are you're still in it at one nil yeah, down. Yeah. So I I tweeted saying it's not over. Believe or something like that. Literally ten seconds <laughs> later, goal Spurs <laughs> game over. Excellent. <laughs> uh, which wasn't ideal. Um, so there you go, Jack. There's, so we there's picked your up a couple of points. Yes, we weren't bottom. We should now. We are bottom. We should have had six. We should have had six points. You can't. Like I, I try and stay positive, and I am still optimistic. And I know that there's now massive questions, and rightly so, by the way, around our recruitment, which I'm sure we'll chat on in more detail in, in a minute. Um, but I am on the side of the seesaw. That's I must admit, I'm. I am more frustrated than I am content because that Newcastle game, you know, there for the taking, you know, 10 men, the chances that we had, the Josh Sargent air kick. I mean... (sighs) Okay, so Wolves and Newcastle are gone. Two points. Not the end of the world. Not something you're going to be, you know, right. We were unbeaten. But at that point, Jack, I was thinking, you know what, we're unbeaten. It's okay. We go to Spurs with confidence. Yeah. Are you angry? So Spurs, they beat us three 0 Are you angry about that? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not angry. I'm. I'm just. I'm just a bit disappointed because we we laid all of the right foundations going into that game defensively. But it's Spurs, we, Chris. Yeah, I know, and I know they're around the Champions League, and I get that. But I just. I thought Dean Smith's um, post match was great and was perfect. Actually, what he said how the game unfolded he was bang on the money the second and third goals he didn't say this but i'm going to say it were pony they were soft as hell the second one i thought the, the second fir- one was a bit unlucky the first one you let it yeah and the first one yeah, like great you can't, strike you can't i'm not sure you can do anything about that let me know in the comments if you disagree on youtube but yeah look, I, i'm just annoyed because the chat <sighs> okay so we have chance right look we lost 3-0. Look, we had chances against Wolves. We didn't put them away. We had chances against Newcastle. We didn't put them away. You bloody put your chances away against Tottenham. Mm. Did we do it? Did we fuck? And that's not good enough. Right. You learn from your... your not mis- Well, yeah, mistakes. Uh, you know, I expect them to learn from their mistakes in the next game. Mm. Never mind the next two games. So I am a bit disappointed. So it, it sounds to me like you're saying that you don't think we've got the quality up front that we require to, to 
routinely convert chances in the Premier League. Because you look at the data this season, Chris, and, and Tamu Puki has scored 70 plus percent of our goals. I mean, who else has scored? Matthias Norman and, mm. and Grant Hanley in the league. I mean, that's a worry. Yes. You're relying on a yes. striker that we've relied on for the past three seasons, four seasons. And Dino's right. The other lads have got to come to the Puki party and they've not turned up. Which raises questions over who we've recruited and yes. whether they are the correct options. Now, we saw a few other uh, options play on, on Sunday in, in Adam Ida and Josh Sargent. Have you been happy with the impact that they've made? Um, okay. So what I need to start by saying is, and I tweet, and I got some heat for this over, over Twitter for some reason at the, at the weekend. I don't believe it. <laughs> I actually feel, I feel sorry mm. for both Adam and Josh. Okay. And here's and and here's why I feel sorry for Adam and Josh. Adam, in my opinion would have hugely benefited from a loan move. Correct. But I will admit that I thought, and I do somewhat still think that he can provide something off the bench. Mm. Off the bench. Mm. I'm not sure Adam's ready to start. I know and appreciate and have heard from people that are way more qualified than me in and around the football club about the player that Adam is already and will be, okay? okay? But Josh Sargent, I, Josh, 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 I'm struggling to find the words. I, I'm baffled by Josh. Mm. I'm baffled that I don't understand why we signed him. Right. Now, yep. I've got to be honest. Okay. I'm thinking, what have we done? Okay. Especially for the amount of money. Yeah, a lot of money for Norwich City. Yeah, but to, to... but why is it? But but he, and mate, and do you know what? This is my first criticism oh. in the Dino shaky era. Mm. I think I think he's. Wh- why are we not protecting him? I I I just think we had Zollis, we had Cantwell, Cantwell with Premier League. I know he's not match fit, but Josh, Josh's confidence is is below the pitch it's but not how, even on the pitch but in the how do you get that confidence back if he's not playing he, I don't know he needs to maybe he just needs to train more of the lads maybe he needs some, some more shooting practice maybe he needs to spend an additional hour or so in the soccer bot <laughs> mate I'm being serious no, and do you know what and people are going to be like oh Chris you're criticising him you're, you're vilifying him you're picking on him I feel I you know me I stuck up for him yeah, I yeah. said good in the air physical, fast. I still think he's got that. But as a striker, the only thing that matters is putting the ball in the bloody net. He can't do it. And I have to hold my hands up and say, I am yet to see anything. And I'm I'm sorry. And I feel bad for saying it, but it's just the truth. Mm. And just like we said about, you know, Daniel Farker and it was his time to go, I would be going against my own integrity by lying to the camera and saying, oh yeah, Josh Sargent's the best thing since sliced bread because he's not. His confidence is on the deck. He's not taking his chances and he costs way too much money. And now I understand why the Werder Bremen fans were giving it large on Twitter saying, enjoy. Mm. You said he's not the best thing since sliced bread. I think if he were to be a bread, he's a granary. There's something in there you know if you persist, something might happen. It's healthy. But in this present moment... You just want a bit of... Not getting much enjoyment. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I want, yeah, a, I want a tiger bloomer. Um, yeah. I, I, think, I think Dean Smith is confused what Josh Sargent is as well. But because he's... against Southampton, Dean Smith brings Josh Sargent on in Campwell's position. All, like, almost a right winger. Yes. And... He was okay that game. I'm not buying the argument that he changed the game, was phenomenal. I think he put in a 7 out of 10 performance. He got about the pitch. He won some headers. He didn't score. Don't he, think he, he provided put, an assist. He put them on the back foot. He changed the game. And then he's coming on sort of as a, as a number nine. Like, I don't think Smith quite knows what he is. I don't know what he is. The only thing I do know is he's not an out-and-out goal scorer. Um, and the chances he's had, and you don't get many chances in the Premier League. He's had some sitters. Brighton, 
He had a very good chance against Newcastle. He had a very good chance against Spurs. Fluffed one against Wolves. Proper air Wolves. Kick. I mean, the, the chances he's had, they've gone backwards. It's the air kicks that I can't get my skull around. Like, And by the way, this is what's really... This is what makes me feel sorry for him. People are now likening him to the Wolf. And that scares me. That seriously worries me. But I feel me. like I knew what the Wolf was. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I'm getting a confused identity with Josh Sargent. But anyway. Go on. That's not... Like, the performance against Spurs it wasn't Josh Sargent's fault. Of course. We, I because think... Pookie... And he's not taking any heat. Yeah, Pookie, Pookie misses a big, big chance. Mm. He, and by the way, and then... Do you know what? The, if I was to rank all three of those chances, and I'm going to protect Adam here, Adam's chance, like Pookie, can't even remember Adam. Pookie chance. has shanked his shot, and Adam shanked his shank. So I feel, What's I feel Josh like, done? I feel like the criticism, <laughs> I feel like the criticism of Adam for his chance against Spurs, overall, it's harsh. I think the thing with Pookie lays it up a treat for Joshy Sargent. We lack quality in the forward areas. I think we, we, we must preface this with the fact that we were missing Rashica, who's a big loss, and Matthias Norman, another big loss. I just think, I don't think we have the resource to provide the adequate quality we need in the Premier League. Strikers are the most expensive player. You need probably 50 million quid. No, I, no I, do you know what? To I'm, find I'm, the collective um, presence. I'm going to disagree with you on both counts. I'm going to disagree with you on both counts. Here's right. why. This I needs believe, to be a good argument. I believe, hand on heart, that with Matthias Norman... Oh, I'll tell you what we've learned before I do that. What we've learned is we ain't doing well this season without Mila and Matthias Norman. And I know people are saying, well, no shit, Revo. But that's the truth. I genuinely think without those two, we look toothless and we don't look like we're going to actually put our opponents on the back foot at all. Certainly not until Zollis starts to get a chance either. Anyway, so that's one point, is is those two lads. Once those two lads are in, I believe we could actually get points against any team outside the top six if those two are in that team. I believe that. Okay. I believe that because Pookie will get more chances with Milo down the wing. Matthias Norman will take pot shots from the outside and will actually defend from that midfield position rather than being so passive, which, by the way, I've got to admit, Billy, uh, I'm not, I'm not feeling that again. All of a really? sudden, by the I, way, I don't get that criticism. I'm not feeling that all of a sudden. Really? Anyway, but what is apparent and what is getting some heat now, and rightly so, is the recruitment. So you saying we just can't compete? We haven't got the money. We have, we have got the money. We spent fifty million, Jack. We spent fifty million, and when you spend fifty million pounds, I think I think we ended up in the top 13 or 14 spenders in Europe. Mm. But that's over a collect, that's over a lot of players. But my point Here's is the they difference. put it in the wrong players, Jack. That's my point. So, you, you, so we had the money, but it's not being spent wisely. Mm. If they had not signed Sargent, kept an, a, a, people will be screaming at the, I just think now, why did we let go of Mario? Why did we let go of Anel Hernandez and sign two players that, I, I, I don't get it. We've kept PP and we've kept Josh Sargent, who offer absolutely jack shit. But I think that the, the difference here is, let's say I, we, we've had the, uh, the task of compiling a Christmas hamper and you've been sent to Harrods and I've been sent to Poundland. You're obviously going to get something better. We're going up against the Harrods of the world and we've been shopping in Poundland. Well, no, not really, Jack. Yeah, because, because we're having to buy you... collective... Yeah, but when you go to Poundland, you can find, well, not Poundland, but if you go organic, for example, mm. the, this is just marketing. Harrods is posh marketing. It's quite often overhyped. But when you go down a notch, you can find that real organic, raw talent. We've seen that under Stuart Webber mm. on multiple occasions. Mm. And here's my other argument, right? Which I'm, and, I'm, and this is just me, because I've got, I am you're, Christos. You're fired up. Yeah, I am fired up. I'm Christos Solis' biggest fan, and no one will take that away from me, right? I'm completely biased. I do not care. What His Norwich City career so far has been derailed by Daniel Farker, right? He's been thrown on to try and do something. He's had one game, I think one game, where he started under Dean, uh, under Dean Smith. Now, the argument for Josh Sargent was, 
well, Chris, we've got nothing on the bench. I think that's extremely disrespectful. Hmm. We signed one of Europe's top up-and-coming talents in Crystal Solis. And you're telling me he's not... I, I don't buy that. We've got, we've got plenty on the bench to be playing ahead of Josh Sargent at the moment. Now, the argument would be, well, Chris, you know, games against Spurs aren't going to define our season. I think the 3-0 scoreline was slightly generous to Spurs. Yeah, it was. But you're still... You're worried, it seems. Oh, do you know what's really... Uh, do you know what's really getting on my goat as well? Hmm. Oh, XG this, XG that. Fuck off with your XG. <laughs> Stick that in your soccer box. It doesn't matter. We lost 3-0. Hmm. You know, people are saying... Oh, you've but got you to look past... You've got to look past the scoreline. But look, you extrapolate the that line. over the course of a season. And if, Don't know. if you're putting up good XG numbers and the performances are promising, then you will start to pick yeah, up results. Yeah, I know, but the but people just put... I, we lost 3-0. Right. We, we conceded three goals and people are going, oh yeah, but the XG was good. And I'm so pleased that Dean Smith... And by the way, I'm so pleased. And I formulated that opinion from Dean Smith, by the way. I've not just pulled that out of my, my rear end. But didn't okay. he say he, he thought the, the scoreline didn't reflect the performance? Yes, he did. But he also said at the end of the day, we still lost 3-0. So it doesn't matter about the XG. Okay. That's how I interpreted it. So were there any way. positives? Um, I'll tell you what was a positive. Here go you on. go. This will this will cheer you up. Go on. Brandon Williams. Yeah. I, yeah. He's a player. Yeah, he is. If I, I'm going to fight, yeah. I want Brandon behind me. A hundred percent. Do you know what's worrying me though, Jack? <laughs> the fact that we played him on the wrong side and we're saying he was one of our best players against Tottenham. That's a bit of a worry, isn't it? Is it? Or should we be celebrating that? Should we be celebrating a defender that... I think he was good. Yes, I agree. And I'm going to try and... I'm going to try... I've got... I'm so sorry being so negative. I like Brandon. I like his steel. I like his aggression. I, and do you know what? He made a brilliant... If you watch the highlights back, probably the only highlight was he picks the ball up and he drives it forwards mm. diagonally into the opponent's box. Absolutely bloody superb, Brandon. Mm. Brilliant stuff. I feel a bit sorry for Giannoudis. Me too. I think it's a crying shame that he's on the bench. I, I would say out of... Out of the squad, he's probably in the top five players in terms of talent. And he's not getting a chance. Yeah. And you know what I've been thinking? I've seen a few people suggest this on Twitter. Let's give him a whirl in left winger. Let's see what he's made of. A lot of people have said that. I quite like the what? idea of that. But how so so who are your who are your other players there then? You knew this yeah. in front of Williams. Yeah. Pookie in the in the yeah. nine or whatever you want to do, and then Rashid's are out on the right. Yeah, I like that. That's getting me going. Yeah. I mean, it means that Jollis and Cantwell aren't featuring, but let's stick it in the mixer and see what comes out. <laughs> yeah, at the end of the day, when you put it in the mixer, good things happen. Usually. If you put it right in the mixer, yeah. things happen. And, and what, was the, what was the pairing of passing in the Newcastle game? You knew this to Pookie. Yes, it so was. Yeah. So why didn't he start? I don't know. I think that might mm, be an idea. Interesting. Um, <laughs> This has been ranty. I genuinely still believe that we have got a chance now of staying up because we've got Dino and Shaky. Hang on, hang on, hang we've on. Got... You can't go from that I can, to that. I can, I can. This is no, no, no. This is my point. I'm frustrated at that Spurs loss because I, because I think that we built, we start, we were building, hmm. and to lose three nil is like, oh, really? You know what I think? I think we've. I still think we can do this. You know what I think? Go on. Tottenham three, Norwich nil. Perfect result. Perfect result. How much because, Lakers you know have you what? Had? I saw I saw Craigie shakes at the weekend. Yeah. I saw an element of complacency creeping in. I think he thought, oh, this is an easy job. Well, big Craig, this isn't an easy job. You have walked into battlefield and we need to fight in the trenches. Dino, not quite as animated as he has been. If I'm Ralph Rangnick at the weekend, <laughs> I'm scared. You're shitting because yourself. Because guess what? Yeah. Big Craig is in the house. Yeah. And he's gone from shake to full on, full on shake. Yes. He is going to erupt yes. at the weekend. Yes. And I like the fact we're at Carrowed. It's going to be a defiant atmosphere. Mm. The Barkley will be backing the boys all mm. the way. You know what? Craig is Shakespeare. CR7 up by the scruff of the neck saying, do you know who I am, yeah. Roddy? Yeah, 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 yeah. Shake him off the Richter scale. <laughs> I like it though. You know what? Yeah. It shows that Do you know it's what? not as easy as they may have thought. This is a battle and we are in to yeah. fight. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good from you. 
this is good. Yeah. This is good. You've got me back in the room. A couple of tweaks I'd make in the weekend. Wouldn't play five at the back. Think that should have gone when we, Daniel went. Yeah, we need to bin that and off. And Joshy we? Sargent, let's give him a couple of spa days. Get him in the soccer bot. Yeah. Do what you want him to do. Just send him, send him somewhere. Get his, yes. I don't know. Get a masseuse or something on him. Yes. Say maybe, Josh. Maybe hypnotherapy. Josh, <laughs> go away. Enjoy Christmas. We'll see you in the new year. Christos, come here. Dimitri on the left, <laughs> and let's start to pull up some trees. Yeah. I like where you've gone there because you lose 3-0 away at Tottenham and it's pissed off a proportion of the Norwich fans including myself by the way mm. so to and by the way the expectation is not I'm sorry when when CR7 comes to Cow Road yeah you're thinking to yourself this is going to be an uphill battle and I like that yeah and by the way we've beat and by the way hit put this in your soccer bot yeah We've beaten Cristiano Ronaldo at Carrow Road before. Yeah, we'll do it again. Two 0 Big Leon and Dino mm. Ashton, the original Dino. Yeah, let's have some of that again, shall we? Yeah, we haven't got Adam Jury this time, but we've got Maxi Aaron's. Yes, please. Yeah. Have some of that CR seven. You can't. Out- and by the way, do you know what I can't wait to see? Maxi out chopping CR seven. Oh, so good. The Aaron's chop. Yeah. CR seven yeah. against LR seven. No, thank you. Lucas Rupp. No, I thank you. I think you like him. Uh, absolutely. You... No interest? <laughs> LR7 versus CR7. I think, I think he was good against Newcastle. Yeah, but LR7 versus CR7, mate, oh. come on. Okay. How many Lakens have you had? But what I would say is, and I'm going to stick up, I'm, I'm being very impressed with Lucas Rupp. Yeah. Being very impressed with him. And I was quite surprised that he was dropped for Spurs. I must admit. Before we get onto the Twitter questions, I have to pick up on something you mentioned earlier. And I was surprised you said it. Billy Gilmore, mm. I thought he was good against Spurs. Yes. What is it, what, what, yes. What is it that leaves you wanting more? Uh, I just think, okay, what, here's what we know. At Chelsea, he's got Kante picking up the rubbish behind him. Mm. Yeah? He ain't got that at Norwich. We love the mayor. He's got to pick his own rubbish up. He's got to pick his own rubbish up. Mm. Yeah? And Golo Kante is, is, is doing the dirty work for Billy G, right? right. I... I think Billy G is one of the most exciting talents that we've signed on loan mm. certainly since I've been supporting the football club genuinely mean that but you need Matthias Norman behind him I, I personally think you need he needs to be there with Matthias Norman I just think he's too easy to barge off the ball and I think against Spurs that showed and Skip beat him for pace on a couple of occasions by the way Skip was excellent which was annoying Mate, you're both, you're both, I don't care about I don't care about the opposition. What I care about is players being pushed off the ball. No thank you. Mm. Get in the bin. Not Billy G, but that in general. Look, Billy, great player, but I think what we learn is you got to pick your games for him, right? So you wouldn't have played but him. In say, Spurs. But then saying that, Billy made his name and and you know became became a, a player that that was a Premier League hot talent when he played against Liverpool for God's sake and he was absolutely world class so but maybe that's because people are picking up the piece I don't know I've just seen people say you know what I'd rather have Lucas Root than Billy Gilmore in at the moment I'm not in that camp yeah but I, I can it. understand I, think... I can understand people's frustrations with Billy great pass of the ball but I think we need more physicality in there whilst we don't have Norman mm. yeah I, I get I think I think Root's just a bit more boring and dull but like kind of gets the job done to an extent. Billy's got that sprinkling. Billy's the chili flakes. Yes. Don't want him all yes. the while. Yes, on the, on the post days, something. yes. An observation from me on Saturday, mm. and this is solely an observation. It's not a criticism. It's not a praise. It's just an observation. The 11 that were fielded against Spurs. God, is this your controversial tweet? Well, I don't think it's controversial. It is controversial. How is it controversial? You're going to annoy so many I, people. I believe that I am speaking fact. In this no, case. no, 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 no. So, okay, all right. So let's let's do this. Let's thing. let the people decide. Is Oliver Skip better than Kenny McLean? Well, you can't compare those two. Like, why? What, what, why? But why are you putting them up against each other? Okay, why well, those is two? Oliver Skip better than who was our other midfielder? Well, weekend? Matthias Norman. Well, he didn't play at the weekend. Well, I quite I'm like. Taking, I quite I'm, like taking, I'm taking solely the eleven against Spurs. Yeah, I know, but that. Yeah, but that's. Is this is why it's nonsensical. Than Josh but this is why it's nonsensical. Why is it nonsensical? Because we've signed Matthias Norman, Mila Rashidza, Crystal Solis. I'm saying Solis. in isolation on Saturday. What you're telling me is you worry about the depth. 
<laughs> if you're saying that, yeah, you're not answering okay. my question. Is Emi Buendia better than Josh Sargent? Y- yes, but, but wrong position, right position. In, in and around that. <laughs> Get your what back is Josh right. Get your fa- well, I don't know. I don't know what well, Josh is. Would Oliver Skip got into the side on, on Saturday? Yes, Sunday? yes, he would. But he's a lone player. You can't. Yeah, you're never going to keep what, him. Let's take away the, the the nuance of this. But you're sounding like I'm, an Ipswich fan, Jack. You're I'm living in the past. You are living. You are living in the past. Who cares? Right, let me get some images up. <laughs> this side that I'm about to show you is better than what we saw on Saturday. And if you yeah, say what's otherwise, your point? okay, okay. What's your point? Where I'm you, saying what, what were you trying to achieve that it, here? That it's a worry. Right, this side. Jack, what is your point? Is What's the point? This side. Puki, Buendia, Cantwell, Vrancic, McLean, Skip, Yanulis, Gibson, Hanley, Aaron's Krull. Yes, Compared but... to Krull, Gibson, Hanley, Omar Bamadeli, yeah, Williams, Jack... Aaron's, Gilmore, McLean, Leymalu, Puki, Ida. Jack, we had injuries. I'm saying the 11 compared to that 11... Okay, I, the look, same. I think the reason and that's why... that's a worry when you've spent 70 million quid or however much it is. 50. And are fielding a side worse than we were fielding last season. We had injuries. You posted it immediately after the match and you poked the bear. I Look, I look. I do think you've got somewhat of a point, but Skip's a lone player. Buendia was always going to leave. I know, and I said that. Did you? Yeah, I said, like, it just... It was just an observation. Let us know in the comments if you agree with Jack's observation. Let's get some questions. Yes, let's let's do that. We love. I hope there's some cheery ones in it. I I, yeah, I never like to read them prior. I feel to... like this has been a ranty podcast, and I'm really sorry about that. Um, I genuinely do back the boys. I just am frustrated that we missed our chances. Matthew, go on. Matthew, uh, oh, tell you what, could be jumper of the week this one. Mm-hmm. Matthew. <laughs> Oh wow! It's a cardigan. I should. Say that, that is an that. If you rate that cardigan out of ten. Oh well, I can't see a weakness. Ten, Twenty-five. Ten Pattern, ten. style, buttons. The, the cut, all oh, the buttons. Mm. Who's who, what's his name again? Matthew. Matthew, big up Matthew. Matthew cardigan, Matthew. Yeah, love that from you. And Matthew's optimistic. Josh. Oh, do you know what I love a guy? He's got so much confidence. He's got so much going for it. He's wearing a cardigan in his profile picture. Yeah. That is just confidence oozing out of him. I love it. What's Josh he going to come Sar- out with? Josh Sargent is only 21. Yes. If he improves first touch and gets some confidence around goal, he could be a very good player. Yes. His work rate and physicality are above average. Yes. I agree with all of that. That's a really interesting point, right? We 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 are criticising Josh. Isn't that, but isn't that so, like saying if my shooting, passing um, and... An ability to run at players with a better eye. Look, 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 I think Cardigan Matthews got a great, is a great shout from him. He is young. Because he is young. And this is a really, and this is why Twitter and things like that, people don't understand this, right? You're allowed to criticise a player, right? I don't think it should ever get personal. I really hope this isn't coming across as personal. Josh has missed multiple sitters this season. That's mm. undeniable, right? But it's a really important point that he's 21, and maybe he has been signed for seasons to come. But for me, if he's been signed for seasons to come, then it's the wrong signing. Well, that's the point. Because we need players to hit the ground running now and score goals now yes. and assist Pookie now. Yes. But it's a great point. And this is what I alluded to earlier. Give him a break. Mm. Let his confidence build up again. Yeah. Don't keep throwing him out for him to keep missing sitters. The problem is... is... Zollis we isn't getting a run any... of games, and that infuriates me. But Jollis is what eighteen? Like we, we yeah, could be the same. But, uh, well, but but yeah, but Jollis hasn't missed four sitters in a row. Okay, from Ying to Yang, Jamie Lauder. Yeah, gone. Oh, Jamie, Passionate. he's giving it large in his profile picture. This feels like the worst defeat in a long time because mm. we could have got more. Even Chelsea didn't feel this bad. No, I'm sorry, Jamie, but I completely disagree with that, mate. And I know I've come across as negative in this, but... Jamie's saying that the carrot was dangled. This is the thing, right? We get to half-time, we're 1-0 down against Spurs, and I'm thinking, God, you know what? We've, we're right in this, mm. yeah? Come out second half, after Shaky's kicked the trolley over at half-time. I've got a lot of interest in that, yeah? And, his, and, and Dean Smith was right. That second goal, it completely killed us and was completely unnecessary. I'm not as annoyed at Chelsea. Chelsea was a... An embarrassment to our mm, club. Mm. It really was. I don't care whether they've won the Champions League or not. It was just, hor- it was horrific. Actually, you cannot lose seven nil at 
any level. So I disagree politely, but thank you for your your question, Jamie. Finn has Finn. Uh, yeah. Uh, Finn Bassett, name of the week. We'll see. Big FB. Finn has thrown the cat amongst the pigeons here. Has he? Yeah. Go on. I honestly wouldn't mind Josip Dermic being recalled. Gets more hate than he deserves and Sargent can't cut it. Really poor from Stuart Webber. As far as I'm concerned, Sargent can't cross or finish the ball. Get him out on loan in January and bring Dermic back. <laughs> we can't be talking about bringing no tomorrow back. Maybe there is a tomorrow, after all. He's banging goals in a pub league, for fuck's is sake. Is he? I don't even know if he is. Oh, come on. This is the thing. People say, oh, Dermic has scored again. Dermic, oh, of course he's bloody scored again. He's playing in a pub league in Croatia, for God's sake. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyone that says that they prefer art and music to football, right? And I love art, right? But if I'm a professional footballer and that's my passion, look. Josip Dermic annoy- scored against Tottenham. I'll frustrate, I'll frustrate a couple of the players by, by, the do, by saying... Josip Dermic scored against Tottenham. Yeah, he Chris. did, but, did but, but, but watch the goal back, Jack. He, he helped, watch the he goal, Jack. create one of the most historic nights in Watch the North goal City back. And I you feel d- like you're being very disrespectful. Look, at the end of the day, there's no tomorrow for Josip Dermic at Norwich City Football Club. Look, if he comes back, I think that will be... I mean, it, it'll be like seeing Jesus Christ again, coming back from the dead. It really will. I, I just, I just cannot, I cannot see it happening. Mister E, Do you, don't wind me up. But chime, chime in on on Josip Dermic. No, he should stay where he is. <laughs> <laughs> don't bring him back. No, I'd rather Joshy. I'd rather Joshy play than oh, Jojo. It's, it's getting tight though. Mister E, have you tried tried the new After Eight mints? They've got orange flavored ones, but I'm allergic. That said, they do look great. Also, Dimitri Nunes has to get his place back after a storm. Well, Dimi will play against Manchester United because Brandon Williams can't yes, play. Yes, good point. So that's, that's good. Yeah, that's good news. And have you tried the new after eight? Minutes? I haven't, but cool. I'm a sucker for an after Are eight. You? Oh, I love an after eight. For me, after eights, one of the most overrated confectionaries uh, out there. And go on then. Overpriced, what? overrated. Do you bin. know what? Only someone from Yarmouth would say that. And, uh, You've got no it, class. It, You've got zero you? class. What does it give you? It, an give, it gives you elegance, class, no, finish, doesn't. a palate cleanser. It's absolutely a sublime. Cleanser. It's sublime. Putting the after in your it's mouth. Just... in your mouth. Mate. Right. Palate cleanser. Give me, a, cho- it give it give me a chocolate you rate. Give me a top three chocolates. What, like, give me what your was, top three chocolates. What's the occasion? No. Give me your top three chocolates. Okay. All right. Well, an after eight. Nothing beats an after eight. After a after a dinner party, well, you know what? after a coffee in the evening, I think if you're wanting to eat chocolate, a chocolate after a dinner, give me your, something's gone wrong. Give me your top three chocolates. What? You haven't explained the occasion. Just, it doesn't matter. Any occasion. Go on, give them to me. Your top yeah. three. Let's hear it from you. Ferrero Rocher's up there. Oh my god! You are joking what? me. Ferrero, Ferrero Rocher. You disrespect after eight and you give it Ferrero yeah. bloody Rocher. There's so much to a Ferrero Rocher. Oh, mate. There's as much to a Ferrero Rocher as there is in Great Yarmouth. Absolutely fuck all. An abundance mate, of that... goodness. Oh, mate. Get in. That nuts, is a shocker. It's got the creamy elements. It's got the crunchy. Oh, yeah. Thing. You love Milka. nuts. Milka. You love nuts. Milka. Yeah, okay. When, it, when someone comes back from holiday, they bring the Milka back. I can buy yeah. that a little bit. It's a bit basic, though. So okay. what's your third? So, so far... Are you going Christmas themed? No. Any themed. So far, it's two chocolates that should be nowhere near the top three. What, and you're putting after eights over Ferrero Rocher? No, mate. Any day of the week. Let us know in the comment section. Ferrero Rocher or after eight? Third. Um, what, would I, what would I go for? What's he... What's the, oh, I know what I do like. A picnic bar. Oh! <laughs> mate, get out of my house. What? Get out of my house. Do you know what? I'm turning this off. What? I like I'm, a I'm turning this off. Go away. Well, Get like out. No, that's it. All this right, is done. What's your top three then, mate? There is no wa- a picnic. Yeah. A fucking picnic. You can't go wrong with a picnic. Oh, a picnic. Only from so only someone from Yarmouth would put picnic what, in their top three. What are you three. having then? Right. Okay. Number one. Galaxy. Oh, Galaxy. 
Are you, are you a, okay, I'm, you're talking, so I'm talking about I'm talking about readily like available. Galaxy. I'm talking about readily available I bet you order like a, I'm Talking about readily available. I bet you order an oat milk mocker in Starbucks. Do you know Starbucks what? Do you know well. what? I'm a big fan of dark chocolate, but I'll leave. I'll brush that to the side for one minute. Right, Galaxy up there. Every occasion, Galaxy works 100. Do you know what I love as are well? You seven? Do you know what I love as well? I love getting in the Barclay, yeah, and tuck it into a big old Mars bar. God, that gets me going. Do you know what? It lubricates my voice as well. A and Mars the last bar one, and a Galaxy. And the last one, Yorkie. Oh. Yeah, I like a Yorkie. I like a good. Yorkie. Yeah, good. And you know what I like? Good for The you. biscuit and raisin ones. Oh, for fuck's sake, Jack. What? Are you all right? You, you're not Jack. You've come back a different man. Biscuit and raisin Yorkie. Ferrero Rocher, Milka, and a bloody picnic, picnic bar. Yeah, I think that's that good. That is a shambles. I think that's good. I really do. Anyway, we went off on a tangent there, sorry. <sighs> Ju- Juliet. Yes, hello, Juliet. I don't she know where I went. French <laughs> do- and Spanish. Oh, I just went Juliet there. Oh, yeah. And by chance, she's... Juliet. Speaks- yeah. Oh, Juliet. Hello, Juliet. Hello, Juliet. Um, I think she works at the club. She tweets us now oh, and then. does she, excellent. Yeah. Hello, Juliet. Now, Juliet's taking a very optimistic look at watching Skippy playing for Spurs. How was it seeing Oliver Skip play against Norwich? Did you feel a sense of pride? Do you know what pissed me off about this? I need to come in straight away. Oh. What, Why? Juliet? What? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> what? Goodness gracious. What? Right, quickly move on. Right. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> what, has Juliet pissed you off? No, 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 what you just said there. Anyway, let's quickly move on. Um, do you know what really annoyed me? Sure Spurs fans and their Twitter account giving it giving it Skip, yeah? Well, <laughs> the reason why Skip is the player as he is today is because of Norwich. Mm. So how dare you give it large to Norwich? And won a trophy. Why would you, why would you rub it in? I don't get that. from like Spurs fans are tweeting pictures of Oliver Skip like, yeah, we bloody made him. We <laughs> made Oliver Skip. And now you're giving it large to us. That's disrespectful. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm, I, I don't want us to ever ever help Tottenham ever again and I mean that I really bloody mean that anyway so I assume I digress. you didn't enjoy seeing Oliver Skip in a, in a Spurs Look, shirt I didn't feel a sense of pride Julia. I felt a deep sense of sadness I I think Skippy is a top man I think he's a cracking player but as soon as he crosses the white line for the other team he's the enemy oh yeah absolutely simple as that but I was like oh, I wouldn't mind a bit of that still Oh, yeah, of course. But that's why it annoyed me that Spurs fans gave it large about him. Biggie Paul. B- pardon? Biggie Paul. Biggie Pauls. Biggie. Biggie Pauls. What a top. That's the name of the Listen week. to this. This is a, this is a jack Paul. of all trades. Writer, accountant, filmmaker, business advisor. Wow. This guy can do your accounts. Yeah. Write about them. Write about them. Make a film from them and then yeah. advise you. Jeez. Biggie Pauls. Biggie Pauls. If Armstrong was out of our price range at £25 million, pounds, mm. what striker solution is out there for a loan less than £15 million? Pounds? Well, who is the out and out goal scorer we need? Focus. Now, this is Biggie Pauls' advisor. Go on. I would focus on getting Cantwell, Jollis, Rashica, Gilmore, and PLM to start goal scoring. Also, why earth did we get rid of Mario Brancic? Lots to deconstruct. Oh, uh, yeah, there is. Um. <sighs> Look, it's look, Mario is banging the goals in the championship at the moment. He's thriving, and I'd never thought I'd say this, in a Stoke City yeah. side. And fair play to him, by the way. He's made Stoke classy. Yeah. And, and he's that's, brought and the that's Ferreira the pa- Roche ace to the oh, table. He's brought the after ace to the table. Um, yeah, look, I. Yeah, I'm not. I think Mario wasn't. Look, basically, Mario wasn't getting game time under Farker. Like much of our players, when you fall out with Farker, he's that's it. You're out the, you're out the fray. Well, okay, all right. Anyway, Biggie is suggesting that we focus on getting Cantwell, Jollis, Rashid, Gilmore, and PLM to start scoring as opposed well, yes. to signing a big money player. Um, I, I think that's clever mm, from Biggie. Well, yeah, but it's what we have to do now. But, yes. But quite frankly, we missed out on Josh King. We... I don't think it was ever realistic for us to get Armstrong. I don't think that was ever on. And we do know that we went for another striker as well. So apparently, according to Michael Bailey that I listened to a podcast, Josh King wanted to come to Norwich City. Mm. Which I found... Why really- wouldn't you? We've got the soccer bot. Jack. Go on. Good name. I'm sure this guy speaks sense. <laughs> Simply can't wait for a sheets from Norman to be back. But for Christ's sake, please play Cantwell. Also, yeah. break Hernandez back in January. 
Mm. Oh, I was I was I was very close to tweeting this after the game on when did we play Tottenham? <laughs> Some yesterday. Sorry, Sunday. It's, the, it's the encore kicking in. Yeah, Sunday. I was close to tweeting this and I bottled it last minute because I couldn't take the heat for a slightly um, controversial opinion. Look, I think Onel Hernandez is better than PP. I think Onel Hernandez. I know that Anel Hernandez has delivered in the Premier League, unlike the wingers that we've signed. He only scored once. What's the, and? Well, then he's already done more. I'm not sure he delivered, did he? I don't think he got enough game time. But, but is it, okay, but let's, let's hear me out on this, though. Bring Anel back in January. Bit of punch off the bench. Bit of fight. You know he, want, you know he loves the club. Hmm. <laughs> He'll be determined to make a point under a new manager. I think that area of the pitch is already incredibly congested. And my worry would be that we've already got... If you're moaning that Jollis isn't playing, then adding another player in that position. Sorry. I'm just laughing at you because you seem to be getting more unwell as this podcast I'm goes. I'm struggling a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> the optimism has left me. And um, I'm now left with... Yes. Yeah. Look, I, I'm completely... You don't ask me about Anel. I'm completely biased. I'm heartbroken he's not here. I love him to bits. He loves our club to bits. So I'm not the best person to ask. But let us know in the comment section. Out of the players that we've got on loan, who would you bring back? Interesting. Good question. Thank you. Um, here's a stat. Go on. The highest percentage of Premier League goals for their club this season. In fifth, uh, Son for Spurs, 38%. In fourth, Jamie Vardy, 39%. In third, Rafinha of Leeds in 40%. Second is Brighton's Neil Wapai, 43%. Top. Timu Puki, 63%. Mm. That shows an over-reliance on Timu Puki, Yeah, it does. It? Yeah, it does. It does. And there's nothing else to say. It does. It's a problem that we've got. Dino needs to find a solution to it. And he knows that. They know that. I think the players... This is the thing, right? The players don't need me and you sitting here criticising them, right? Because they know that they were good enough to take those chances against Spurs, mm. against Wolves, against Newcastle. And the players will be kicking themselves because they could be in a much rosier place right now. Okay, temporary, uh, temporary substitution. Uh, I had to go and blow my nose. You are in a bad way. Yeah, <laughs> not a bad way. I, I, I feel I like thought, I feel I, like I'm just. I, you know what I am at the moment. I'm a first half performance against Southampton. The best is yet to come. Yeah. Okay. I'm go on. I'm hanging in there. Yeah, you are. And guess what? Something good will happen in a minute. You're going to explode into action. Mm. Let's hear it from you then. Um. More questions. Should we get some more questions? I think we should. Mm. Da, 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 da. <laughs> so, da, no worries. We're only on a podcast. Jack, take your time. Yeah, um, the audio listeners will be thriving at this point. Yeah. Well, full some air then. Do your job. What, <laughs> what do you mean? I think we've done most of them. Yeah, we have. We have. Man United. Let's talk about Man United, shall we? Well, here you go. Here's a question from Freddie on Man United. Okay. What's Freddie saying? Should... Dino start Jakob Sorensen and Ozan Kabak no. against Manchester United. No, it's both. Yeah, yeah. I think you. Well, I think Sorensen would have more of a chance than than Kabak. Kabak doesn't get in above, or does he? Or does he? Over who? Hanley? Gibson? Nah. No. Nah. Not not, I'm, not, I'm not having Gibson out of the team. For me, slightly at fault for their third goal. I thought mm. beaten too easily. Mm. Maybe. Manchester United. Yes. Big game. Yes. Confident? No. Worried. Really? Yes. What? Genuinely worried? Mate. When do we... Oh, it's a 5.30 game. That's... Oh, sh- can I take... 8 to 5.30 Do you game. know what is really getting on my goat with this Manchester United game? Manchester United are getting praise for, for pressing. Like, the national media are in love with Manchester United because they are running. Mm. A well done, you're running. But isn't, well done. isn't that... Well done for pressing. But like, sat... Any good team should press. But the pre... Hang on. They're good... banging hang on, on about this bloke. Hang on. And all he's done is he's got them running. You were praising Josh Sargent earlier in the season for doing exactly that. And I said that's yes. the bare minimum. Yes. And I agree. I agree with you. To be fair, you also praised him for jumping occasionally. Yes, I did. Exactly. But Look, Norwich City, Chris... Manchester United just three... have got quality to hurt us. But I'll tell you one thing for free. And I say this every time we come up to this league. The one big team 
I want to be is Manchester United because there's nothing more that annoys me than glory hunting Manchester United fans from Norwich and their excuses oh my uncle my uncle follows them or oh my dad supports them well where are you from Norwich what are you doing then oh but I can't my dad supports them what you're from Norwich wake up it's a shambles Mm. it's such an easy option how I support Manchester United and they'd all be coming from your hometown, Great Yarmouth, on the train. Yeah, wake up and smell the oh, soccer bar. Pisses me off. Oh, seriously, I really, really want to beat Manchester United this weekend. Norwich are three points from safety. I can't wait to see to the Manchester like United fans. Do you like that? Yeah, it's quite good. But good. I, can't, I can't wait to do it. When we score, I'm going to look and I'm going to look them in the eyes in the away end. Mm. And by the way, you know that there's at least at least 250 of them from Yarmouth. And I'm going to see or sue or whatever I just you call can't. It. I can't quite work out who jump so high. Who? Ronaldo. He's always like seven feet in wow. the air. Not as high as Josh Sargent. <laughs> <laughs> Norwich are three points from safety. Mm. United mm. are only 14 points above us. Really good point. The European charge is still on. Yeah. So if we beat Manchester United... Yes. ...by more than two goals... Yes. ...and Watford lose... Does that mean we... We will be out of the bottom three. This is the thing, right? And I was talking to Conor McGilligan from One Leeds about this. Um, Watford are in trouble. There are a lot of shit teams in this league oh, this well, season. Harsh, no, 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 no. That's no, hard. No, no, no. What I mean is this season, if you look at it, it's actually quite evenly spread. It's very easy to get yourself out of where you have been. It's very tight. Mm. Is very tight down the bottom. Well, the, and all the amazing need... thing is we've won more games than Newcastle and Burnley. And yet, we're still bottom. That's because we've conceded 31 goals. Did you know that Wolves have scored just four <sighs> more goals than us? Do you know and what? are eighth. Yeah, I know. Like, I think, seriously, Brighton, so average. Wolves. Ninth. So average. Eighth. It's bonkers. They're at Burnley. They are level on points. They're, 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 they're struggling. A bundle of bollocks they are, aren't they? <laughs> a bundle of bollocks? They are. They are. I've never heard they that They are. Like, it's, t- it's time to speak the truth, Jack. This is why I believe, right? This is why I believe. I don't just believe once these players are back in the team, Norman and Milo, that we can actually beat teams. Mm. Yeah. I also think this is the season where actually anyone in that bottom... Anyone on that bottom six now could go down or survive quite easily. Everton. He- pff, hello. They're in a bad, bad, bad way. i tell you what is a bundle of bollocks. Go on. The championship. That league is dross. Why? Have you seen I QPR feel like, a third? I feel, what? I, haven't, yes. I, I must admit, I've not even looked yes. at the table. Fill me in on the championship. Oh, no, so QPR are now fifth. Do you know what? Fulham, I did. Bournemouth, West Brom. Do you know what? Straight I, do you know what? Hang on. Just, I just let me quickly come in there. I did hear. I did see a great tweet. You always see such wild tweets after after games of football that you don't do well in. Mm. After the Newcastle game, someone tweeted saying, oh, "I'm pleased we gave Newcastle a point because it's good. It, we want Newcastle to survive because we don't want them in the championship yeah. with us next season." Good planning. Forward planning. Oh, the championship is terrible. Coventry are seven. <laughs> Um, oh dear, oh dear. Where are Ipswich, by the way? They've sacked Paul Cook. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they ever think the grass was greener oh, after, oh, after Captain Lambert? Oh, it's comical, isn't it? What did we call him? Agent Lambert, not Captain yeah, Lambert. Yeah, agent. Yeah. I feel good about Manchester United. I think we're going to give them a... We always beat one big team. When we come to them, we always beat yeah. one. Yeah. We do, we do. Yeah, we you do. know we do. Yeah, I know it. And especially at Carrow Road. Mm. Yeah, Under big atmosphere. Lights. Imagine Ronnie crying. God, I can't wait. Imagine... Imagine Ben Gibson. Absolutely, no, imagine Grant Hanley. Yeah. Absolutely pummeling into the back of Cristiano Ronaldo. Grant Hanley, last minute header, wins it. Oh. Sues in front of the community <laughs> stand. <laughs> Sue. <laughs> I'm sorry, I could not imagine Grant Hanley giving it the C. 
Goodness gracious. Is it Sue or is it C? Well, I think it's spelt Sue. Oh, okay. <laughs> it is quite I'm, good str- I'm struggling to grasp it. So who who in our team do you most want to Sue? Hanley. Because it'd be, it, would be, it would not fit the persona. Yeah. That would be class, wouldn't it? I could most In front imagine, of the Bovril boys. I could have... Oh, do you know who I could actually imagine doing it? Tim Krull. Oh. I could actually see Timmy Krull doing it just to piss them off. Okay. Yeah. I tell you what. No. Got it. Go on. Last minute winner. Imagine we, we win. By the way, what if Joshy Sargent scores against United? Utter scenes. Like, I, yeah. Yeah, I tell you what. If Josh Sargent scores against Man United, I'm on the pitch. You've heard it here first. You know who's going to sue the weekend? <laughs> go, right? go on. You know when we were disappointed after we beat Southampton that we didn't see Craigie Shakespeare giving it big? Craigie Shakespeare <laughs> suing <laughs> from the Barkley. To the opposition dugout. <laughs> sue! <laughs> big Craigie. Shake me up, oh, Craigie. Oh, God. Big old shakes. Yeah. God, I love Craigie Shakespeare. I had a dream about Shakespeare a couple of nights Did ago, you? by the way. Yeah. What kind of dream? Um... I just met him. I was walking. I was walking around the park and I met him, and he went, "Are you alright?" I went, "Yeah, I'm alright." And he went, "Yeah, are you happy with the lads?" And we just had like a really good chat. Oh, nice. Me and Big were Shakes. You walking a dog. Or? I just, I, I'm obsessed with Craig Shakespeare. Why I'd, was he I'd love, park? I'd love to chat to Craig Shakespeare on this podcast. Mm. Uh, over any guest we've ever done, I would trade them all for Craig Shakespeare right now. Do you think he'd fit? Yes, for fuck's sake, Jack. We do want him to come on. Yeah, no, I'm saying I think we should yes. do it in a, a grand. Yes, we, yes, we can. We, yeah, we wouldn't film it here. He could sit on the table <laughs> in his, on his throne. Yeah, yeah. And we'll just holding holding the TNC yeah. sign with 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 his um with his hat on. Yeah, yeah. Um, good. Thanks for watching, everyone. Um, I'm gonna go and uh, I was I was breathing menthol liquid in earlier like this trying to clear my nasal passages mm, mm. like this. Well, you need to. And by the way, you've got a lot of work to do in the stands against Manchester United because Papa Reeve came in, or Rafa Reeve. Yeah, took um, the season ticket. Pete Rafa Reeve, yeah, yeah, took your season ticket. Do you know good what he did? Was it? Yeah, good from him. Yeah. yeah. Well, Sung guess what? all game. Well, guess Sung what? all game. Well, guess what? We didn't score. It doesn't matter. Clearly didn't work. He, he did his job. And you need to do a good job. I want you singing from the first minute to the last. All I'm saying is, my last game we won... I go, we haven't won since. Mm. I'm seeing correlation there. Interesting. Thank you for watching the TNC podcast. If you've enjoyed this episode, buy some Lakens. Buy some Lakens. Give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Follow us. We're close to 16K on Insta. Get that done. Yeah. Follow us on Instagram, for God's sake. It's um, absolutely glorious over there. Yeah. And um, see you soon. Good. Thanks for watching. Bye, everyone.